Okay, so today we're going to see if we can program a simple RPG inside of PowerShell. So I got our PowerShell virtual machine booted up here. So to start off with, we're just going to search for the Windows PowerShell ISC, and we're going to run it as administrator. Okay, so we got our scripting window open here. We'll just go ahead and save it first. We'll just call it PowerShell RPG. That should be fine. And I always like to change the directory. It always starts out in System32. So we'll just go to the root C directory here. Okay, so to make this RPG, the first thing we're probably going to do, we'll prompt the user for their name. So we'll start out with a read host command. And we'll tab complete it. And we'll save it as... call it player underscore name and that's going to be equal to read host and here's what we're going to prompt the user for so we'll just say enter your name so next we're going to set up some some values for our character so we'll do it randomly we'll set some bounds for it so let's see here We'll give our character HP, so we'll say player underscore HP equals get random, and we'll set limits for this, so when it randomly picks it, so we'll say maximum is 20, minimum is 10. Same thing with, we'll say player strength equals get random. Actually, now that I'm looking at that 20 might be a little, let's say, we'll say 120, or well, 50 minimum for HP. For strength, we'll do max 20. Minimum 10. Try to keep it consistent here. All uppercase. Okay, is it player? Agility equals get random. Maximum 20. Minimum 10. And we probably won't use it. Well, let's, let's throw in intelligence and luck too, just to see what we can do with that. Player intelligence, skip random, max 20, minimum 10, and player luck. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save it. So let's go ahead and test this here. So it'll, it'll prompt us for our our name, then it'll randomly generate our stats. But we'll have to display it to the screen first, so we'll say... Uh, 
write host play HP and we'll tab complete it. We'll do the same thing. We'll have it just list all of our stats here. Player strength. Player agility. Player intelligence. We'll save that and we'll go ahead and run it here just to test it. So let's clear the screen. Actually, just so we don't have to clear the screen each time, I'm going to add a clear command up to the top here. So let's try this out. Okay, so let's prompt us down here to enter a name. Let's see, com tech engineer. Okay, so it's generating, so 81's our HP, and here's our other stats here, so what we forgot to do, we're going to have to mix variables and text here, just to make it a little, make, a little bit cleaner, so we'll say, Say HP colon, and then it'll list the hit points. Go down here and say strength, agility colon, intelligence colon, and luck. Okay, so let's play this again. Okay, so we put in our name. So here we have hit points listed, strength, agility, intelligence, and luck. So that should take care of creating our, our character. What you can do too is you can loop this to have someone to have the, you know, whoever's playing it to re-roll. But just for the sake of this video, we'll, we'll skip that and keep going on here. So let's see here. We'll need to create an enemy, so we'll basically do the same thing. So we'll, we can go ahead and copy all this, paste it down here, and we'll change everything here to enemy. And we'll say enemy HP. Enemy strength. Enemy agility. Enemy intelligence and enemy luck. Okay, so let's test this out here. Just want to write it out every time. We'll just put in test. Okay, so here at the top is our stats, and here's the enemy. So what we're gonna do, just to make it a little bit clearer, we'll put a right host in between here, just to separate it a little bit. Add some to the top too. Put a space. So let's do a blank right host. And we'll see what that looks like. It looks a little bit neater. So it's got our stats up here and the enemies below. So that takes care of that. What we'll have to do, 
next is create a battle loop. So where it's going to have us attack, then the enemy attack, then us attack. So let's say... I may want to do a while loop for this. So we'll do while, and then the condition goes in the parentheses there. And then we'll do the squiggly brackets below. And this is the code that's going to run. So we'll say... While player HP is greater than zero, or enemy HP is greater than zero, that way it throws off the. It, it'll kick us out of the loop if either of those conditions are met, so. Okay, so we'll have to create something that causes damage between us and the enemy. So we'll say, since we're going to be attacking first, we'll say enemy damage equals, let's see how we want to do this here. We'll probably, let's add strength and agility. And that will be our attack, so... Say enemy damage equals player strength plus player agility. Actually, let's throw in luck too since we already have it there. Plus player luck. So that's going to give us a numerical value. And we'll have to subtract that from the enemy's current HP, so we'll say enemy HP equals enemy HP minus whoops, forgot the dollar sign, enemy damage, okay. What we may have to do too, we may have to throw some pauses in here because it might run through too quickly. So we'll, when we get to that point, I'll show you what to do. Let's save this here. Okay, so that takes care of the enemy damage, which is us attacking, so... We'll say... We'll give it some text updates here, so we'll say it's great. Player name attacks and then we'll we'll have it display the the damage that we're doing to the enemy. So we'll say right host enemy takes Enemy damage. Yeah, let's throw some just to slow down the loop here. Let's slow it up. We'll do start sleep for a second. And start sleep for another second. Okay, let's run this and see what it does to test it here. Oh, man, it's going out of control here. Let's see. Oh, forgot to put a space there. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's say test. Okay, see the enemy's taking the same amount of damage each time, so what we have to do here... We'll have to add a random element to it, so let's call it... Player attack equals... Get random. So just like we did above, we'll 
give it a maximum of 10 and a minimum of 1 and we'll add that to our enemy damage here call player attack okay so we'll see if that that should randomly generate some different values there for the damage on the enemy so let's see what happens here 45, 43, that's good, 44, okay. So I'll take care of us attacking, so we need to make the, the enemy attack here too, so. Do the same thing. We basically just have to copy this and paste it below and switch everything. Paste it down here. So we'll call this enemy attack. And it's going to be the same thing, maximum 10, minimum of 1. And this is going to be player damage. It's going to be enemy strength. Plus enemy agility. Plus enemy luck. Plus enemy attack. And so it subtracts from our HP. Let's say player HP equals player HP minus player damage. Okay, so we'll save that and let's let's run this here and see what happens. Okay, it's throwing a random values, that's good. And it stopped because one of us ran out of hit points. Either the player or the enemy, we don't know which one, but. Okay, so let's see if we can improve this a little bit. It gets kind of confusing here because it's got the enemy stats and then it says attacks next. So let's do this. Let's put a blank space in here. Save that and see what else we want to do here. Well, just to make this video a little bit shorter, we might, this might be all we have time to do, so let's, let's uh, create an end screen here. So after that loop is done, we'll say, got a right host. Battle is over. And let's have it display the hit points of both our player and the enemy. So, let's say player HP. Right host. and enemy HP. And what we may want to do, just so that our character is going to win every time, let's change this here. Let's change the enemy HP to 50. Well, let's say 75. Maybe we should make it 50 and we'll change this to 
20, just that it forces us to win. So let's go ahead and play this here, see how it looks. Okay, so that's interesting. It looks like the loop's working, but we may have to add something in here. So it's actually going below, below zero. Oh, nope, that is what we wanted. Player name. And we'll say enemy. Cool. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hmm, interesting. Let's adjust these values a little bit here. Let's say minimum hit points 100 and 200. So it looks like something may be wrong with our loop. See, it's still... It's almost like it's seeing this as an and. But let's see if we can get this fixed here. First we'll clean this up. We'll put a, a space in between this. Because that looks a little messy. If we just take out player HP, we'll try it like this and see what happens. Okay, so that worked a little bit better here. So we still have 73 hit points left, and the enemy has negative 20, but at least it's working better than it did before. So let's see what else we can add here. We can probably loop it so that it'll keep... Basically, we're only fighting one enemy at a time, but we can actually loop it so that we're continuously fighting enemies here. But that may be a topic for another video. I'm trying to keep these pretty short just to... just for brevity. So maybe in, a next, in the next video, when we're doing PowerShell, we may add a loop so that we're continuously attacking enemies. So that, and that way we can add a score and keep score of how many we've defeated. So that, that should be a pretty fun project. So that should be about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.